Hi guys, welcome again to Barker's Barbecue. Today I'm going to show you how I go about running my bullet smoker. Alright guys, the first thing I've done is I've broken this smoker down, so I'm going to show you um, basically what each part is and uh, and its features and whatnot. So basically we're going to start with the base. So uh, as you can see there's a bit of charcoal in there from the uh, from the previous cook which is totally fine. We can use that as a, a base bed for our next cook. So the base has the charcoal basket which obviously holds all of your charcoal. You've got these vents as well that sit, uh, there's three of them on the bottom and uh, they basically close and open so they will They'll actually control the airflow inside the smoker, so if you want to get it hotter, you can open them, open them up wide. If you want to choke the airflow a bit, that'll bring the, uh, the temperature down. Now with adjustments on this, you want to give it about 10 minutes because it does tend to act pretty slowly. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so yeah, make an adjustment, come back in 10 minutes and check on your um, temperature and your cook chamber. So the next chamber we're going to look at is the, uh, the one above the base, which is the bottom stacker. So on this particular smoker, you've got a stackable grate, which gives you two levels. And underneath that, we've got our water pan. So they call this, they call this a water pan, but I've never put water in this. Uh, you literally use it as just a deflector to, pro to protect the meat from the, uh, from the heat of it, uh, the heat of the charcoal, and basically turn it into an indirect cooker. You can remove this to make it a direct cooker, no problem at all. But what I do is I foil this over, so all the crud and crap drips on the foil. And after a couple of cooks, it's get, it gets pretty grubby. You can just ball it up, bin it, foil over, ready for the next cook. So I'll stick these back on the top. And then we'll go through this section here, which is the second stacker, which just has a standard grill grate in there, nothing else. And obviously a lid here, which has your temp gauge and a top vent as well, which you can use to help control the airflow too. Alrighty, so I've put this back together now. Basically, I didn't really run through it before, but it clips together by way of these clips on the side. So you basically unlatch them. There's one on the other side as well, obviously, but basically that's how they lock together, just like that. So another feature on this cook that I want to show you is the, uh, the doors on the front. So um, you can use this one to keep an eye on your cooks on the second level. I really don't use it all that often, if I'm honest, because um, you know, you've, you've not got much visibility with these stackable grates. This one, however, I do use quite often because it helps you add smoke wood and extra charcoal because it gives you direct access to the firebox um, inside there. So you can monitor your cook. You can see how much charcoal has been burnt through and see if you need to add more to get a bit longer out of your cook. So that's basically all the features of the bullet smoker. So basically what I'm going to do next, I'll show you how I go about lighting this thing. All right guys, so we're going to show you how to light this up now. So I've got some charcoal in there from a previous cook. No issues with leaving that in there at all. Uh, yeah, that's, that, can, that can be part of your cook, not a problem. So basically, um, I've got four fire lighters sat here. Basically what I'm showing you today is a way you can get it going anywhere. Obviously at home I would use, I've got like a gas ring on the side of my barbecue that I use, but for a competition where I don't have the luxury of that, I'm showing you how to get this started um, without that. So basically four fire lighters here. I've got my charcoal chimney here, full of charcoal, ready to get lit. And uh, I've got some charcoal that I'm gonna um, just put around it um, the cook. So, so that's basically just arrange that around. And then you've got, so the unlit coals around give you the longevity of a cook. If you, if you, you know, if you had the whole basket lit, it'd be super duper hot and it wouldn't last very long. So basically adding a lump, adding, adding lit coals to the middle um, and then using the unlit charcoal around it, that's what gives you longevity in a cook. So I'll explain a bit more about that later, but what we're gonna do now is get these fire lighters lit. Alrighty, so they're all going now, so we'll come back in about 10 minutes and uh, we'll see how, how this charcoal's cranking. Alrighty guys, so it's been about 10 minutes and as you can see, this charcoal's going really, really nicely now. So basically what you do from here is you pour the lit charcoal into the center. And the great thing about lighting it this way is that it gives, um, it gives a lot of heat to the charcoal surrounding it, so it lets that sort of take, so there's less time necessary uh, to leave it like this once you pour it in there, because occasionally it's a good idea to just let this take, but because it's had a lot of heat already, 
Don't really need to in this scenario. So make sure your vents are set up how you want them to be. I've got these all open at the moment. So I'm gonna lift this top section on. Clip her down. I actually am gonna dial back the vents a little bit because that charcoal was looking a bit angry. So I'm gonna close this front one all together and leave these back ones wide open and see how we travel. So I'm aiming for about 250 degrees Fahrenheit, which is um, around about 120, 125 degrees um, Celsius. And uh, yeah, so we'll see how we travel. We'll come back in about 10 minutes and have a look. Alrighty, so it's been about 30 minutes since I put the top section back on this smoker and it's sitting right about 250 degrees Fahrenheit, which is right where I want it, which is uh, around about 120, 130 degrees Celsius by the gauge. So uh, this is ready to chuck a bit of smoke wood on. So um, I've had my little chunks of wood just warming down here because the ambient heat from the bottom here warms the chunks up a bit and, you, and that's a really good thing to do is to have them pre-warm because then they'll ignite a bit quicker. So yeah, like I said, this door gives you full access to the firebox so you can literally just pop your wood in there lose some arm hairs during the process as well, and uh, shut the door and it's ready to go. So um, if you want to see this in action, I'm, um, I do, I've got a Tomahawk steak video as well, so if you want to see how these things can really work and just how versatile they are, tune in and check that out. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.